Pondering the perennial existential conundrum, who am I, has been a part-time interest and even the full-time occupation for many of the great thinkers and sincere seekers of truth born of planet Earth for thousands of years. And though the self-reflective questioning, who am I, has been undertaken by many whose names we may recognize because they left their mark on literature, science, spirituality, theology, or philosophy, there are many more not so great or famous individuals who've held that noble question and questioning close to their heart. Today, we are most certainly living in a renaissance of heart and mind. There are more people than ever interested in personal growth and spiritual reality than ever before. This is occurring not only in the English-speaking world, but throughout modern Western-influenced societies. Google the word spirituality, and you'll get at least 129 million hits. Google the word enlightenment, and you'll get 34 million hits. The Enlightenment Intensive Retreat, with its contemplative focus on uncovering your true nature, or what has been called the self, is part of this spiritual renaissance and one of those personal development methods that has been embraced by our worldwide community of seekers. The Enlightenment Intensive can be found in several dozens of countries from Australia, England, France, Yugoslavia, Germany, India, America, Indonesia, Canada, Iceland, Switzerland, Italy, Mexico, and more. The first Enlightenment Intensive was held in 1968, and it's been going strong and growing stronger ever since. I remember talking with Charles Berner, the man who created the Enlightenment Intensive. He was saying that if the Enlightenment Intensive is still part of spiritual practice after 100 years, then it will have made its mark on the history of self-discovery. Of course, for those of us who have participated in an Enlightenment Intensive Retreat and have come to experience its rewards directly, then it's already left its mark. Enlightenment is the direct knowing of your true self. It is often described as if waking up from a dream that you didn't know you were dreaming. And when you wake up from that dream, you find other people around you are still dreaming, even as they go about their daily life. It's like they're sleepwalking, and they don't know they're in a state of dream. And you, too, didn't know it either until you awoke, because the moment before you awoke from the dream into the enlightened or awakened state, you, too, were sleepwalking, but weren't consciously aware of it. Awakening, or the state of enlightenment, is a profound experience that puts you firmly on a path toward changing your life for the better. It inspires you to improve your life and the way you relate to the world and to those around you. Another past participant of the Enlightenment Intensive wrote, it's, it's like I've awoken from a dream, and I realized that I am here. I met me, the true me, for the first time. My life has just changed dramatically. Now I enjoy every moment that I have, and I'm grateful to share the truth of me with all living things. And my relationships have improved especially with my family. This notion or metaphor of waking from a dream is not an uncommon way of expressing the reality of enlightenment. David Hawkins, a psychiatrist and modern spiritual enthusiast, has written several books on consciousness. In his book, The Eye of the Eye, he writes that it's as though one had forgotten and now awakened from a dream. All fears are revealed to be groundless. 
All sorrows are foolish imaginings. There is no future to fear nor past to regret. The Chinese Taoist sage, Chuanzi, also used this metaphor of a dream 2,500 years ago in an effort to communicate his experience and understanding of reality. He explained that he had a dream in which he experienced himself as a butterfly flittering here and there. He had no conscious awareness of himself as Chuanza while in the dream. Then he suddenly awoke and he found himself not a butterfly, but Chuanza. Hmm, he wondered, am I a butterfly dreaming I'm Chuanza? Or am I Chuanza dreaming I'm a butterfly? During our dreams, we don't know we're dreaming. Only on waking do we know it was a dream. And after the great awakening, will we realize that this is the great dream. The spiritual renaissance that is bursting forth and flowing into and through popular culture is even found in today's Hollywood movies. Awakening from the dream is the central theme of this very popular movie. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? What is happening to me? The answer is out there, Neo. It's the question that drives us. What is the Matrix? The Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Now, instead of me continuing to wax lyrical and sing the beneficial praises of enlightenment and the enlightenment intensive, here's something that you can actually do to gain more ability and capacity to recognize and hold the truth of who and what you are. This exercise is very simple. Here it is. Stay open to knowing who you are by setting your intention to stay open to your true self. Do this during the course of your ordinary daily activities. It can be while you're walking down the street or waiting in a queue or driving to work, exercising, or washing the dishes. Do it every day, several times each day. Holding that meditative intention, who am I, in your daily life, aligns you with truth and reality and with the tens of thousands of individuals who have pondered this conundrum for millennia. In modern times, the 20th century spiritual teacher Ramana Maharshi persistently encouraged others to inquire, who am I? He said, by inquiring who am I, the thought who am I will destroy all the other thoughts. It's like a stick used for stirring the burning funeral pyre. It will itself, in the end, get destroyed. Then, self-realization will arise. Self-inquiry is the main focus at an Enlightenment Intensive. One of the jargon phrases that's used at an Enlightenment Intensive is to continue contemplating. The jargon phrase means to continue staying conscious of who you are. Enlightenment is not an intellectual process or a thinking about who you are. It is being open or conscious of who you actually are. So in this exercise, you're to find a moment, in fact, find many moments during your day when you consciously choose to be open to directly knowing your true self. It's a very simple exercise that has profound 
results.